Hi there. I'd like to just describe um, Andrew's hive to you. What we have here is what we call a basement box, which is basically a super below the brood box. As you can see, the bees are perfectly happy coming in and out of both the super and the brood. It is only about seven degrees at the moment, so they're not particularly active. And then we have a super with the entrance hole in it. If I pick up the entrance, I've now shut the hive up, but we also use the entrance holes if we're doing any gas vap treatment for Varroa. Everything sits on a solid floor. So what I'm now going to show you is what's inside the hive. What you can see here are the entrances fitted in a brood, and this brood was in for a year. This was the original entrance we developed. It's about seven millimeters thick and screws on the inside of the hive. And this is what we trialed two years ago. What we did discover though, was with corners, wasps could defend themselves by retreating into corners. So, this was a later version with the curved sides. What we also found with a very thin plastic to get it into the bee space is quite often the plastic would deform. So this now is what we patented, is the full entrance with the curve, with the support in the middle. But what we've also found with that, when it's installed in the hive, this is where the bees are defending the colony and this gives them much more chance to defend their hive successfully but what we've also found is it does provide the baffle for the wind so what you'll see here is at no point have the bees properized the entrance and this is the entrance the entrance on the inside Lastly, we have two sorts of plugs, a blanking plug and a ventilated plug. And in our area, when the farmers are going about their treatments, we can shut the hive up and ventilate. Or if we want to close up during the winter, we can close up the holes with a solid plug. That's the upstairs downstairs hive system.